What up, Internet? It's RJ with Roads to Liberty. Wanted to do a video today to talk about Donald Trump. Uh, I usually don't like to talk about politicians, especially like the ones that are running for office um, or in general, um, only because I've moved on past the belief that I think that the politicians themselves are doing anything. Um, when I say they're doing anything, they're obviously doing stuff. They're living, breathing, walking around, etc. But I don't believe they're making... Um, Typically speaking, I don't believe that politician A or politician B are really looking to do a different policy choice than one another by very much. Um, like there might be a, a, a seemingly important difference between two different candidates and what they would do. Like um, whereas, let's say, Obama would support gay marriage and Obamacare, whereas uh, Jeb Bush or, or a Republican might not support those things and would support something else. But the point I'm making is look at how Obama treats the military. Look how he treats, um, you know, corporations. He gives corporate handouts and money to banks. He gives special favors to banks and, and looks the other way. He isn't persecuting anybody on that front um, for fiscal or social, you know, uh, transgressions or whatever. So anyway, what is this whole thing about Trump is the point of this video. Um, I think that what strikes me is the fact that Trump is a guy that, you know, he's already admitted to paying off politicians in the past, and there's no really obvious reason that I could think of as to why he would want to run for office. Um, like, for example, he's got a ton of power, correct? He's got all the money he needs. Um, my thought is, is that the powers that be want him where he is, um, insofar as, you know, if Trump is in the race, it gives America another look. I'm in the car business background, and the way that we structure it, to give you guys a little behind the scenes, um, like how we screw people over in a way, is uh, we give you four options that all look different, but they're all actually the same, and neither one, the house wins. So we go, hey, which one of these would work best for you? And then we shut up and let you choose. You go, mm, I like B, but if it had the down payment of A and the payment of B, then I would... I would probably take that deal. Truthfully, we could do almost any combination like that. We have it set up so that all those numbers on the page work, really. Um, kind of yes, kind of no. But just to give you an idea, that's, that's, I feel like, what's happening, the way they're structuring these elections. So it's like, is America really crazy about socialism already? Are we all on the bandwagon that? In that case, we can all pick Bernie. Is everybody tyrannical and wants to become racist and have, you know, camps? Well, in that case, we get a Trump. Um, is, so, is America ready to be very boring and, and beta mailed and dumbed down and quiet and, and docile, then we have a Jeb or we have a Cruz or we have a Christie. Um, but, you know, I want to do a separate video on Hillary as well, even though I said I wasn't going to do this kind of stuff. It is good for my search ranking and I'm not making these really concise. They're more like I'm doing for this one, like long and ranty, but I have a note page here. So there are things I plan on talking about. I just want to make this more of a flow of consciousness type of thing. And I also want you guys to try to chime in with any thoughts you might have um, in the comments. I know Adam Brat, uh, Brant, Brat, Brant, Brat, whatever, of Libertarian Republic guy, he says a lot of stuff. And I get a few other people chiming in. But more the merrier, guys, if you're watching this, you wasted all the time watching it, invested the time, everyone look at it. Why not uh, click a little you know, comment in there real quick instead of, hey, fucking stupid face, you know, <laughs> you know, what, what about these topics? So let's get back to Trump. Um, why run? That's an issue. Is he sanctioned or is he going against the stream, which the latter case sounds way harder to stomach, right? Harder to believe that he would be actually going against the grain, actually thinking he could take on the status quo. Um, so in that sense, is he more of a uh, George Washington, someone who has power and money and just can't get enough and wants to be in political dominance as well, which people said initially, or is he more of a JFK, someone who kind of sneaks in on popularity and has to be dealt with, so to speak, if you know what I mean. So I want to know you guys' thoughts on that. Is uh, Trump more of a George Washington or more of a John F. Kennedy type? And then I want to talk about the Alex Jones connection as well. You know, when Trump appeared on Alex Jones, for example, to tell you guys, I'm more Alex Jones 
friendly than I think a lot of people in my circles. Um, and maybe that's the problem with my circles. Maybe it's a problem with people's perception of Alex Jones. Or maybe it's a problem with my perception of Alex Jones. But the reason I like Alex Jones is because actually a lot of the stuff he was warning about, no one's giving him credit for. He was talking about how the NSA is tapping into everything before Snowden released it. He was talking about um, a lot of the move power grab moves, Patriot Act, NDAA, um, Bin Laden. He was talking about stuff since the 90s. So it's might be time for us to start looking at Alex Jones a little differently. But then he has t Donald Trump on this program. And so this makes me wonder, and that's the point of this video, and that's really, really the feedback I want to get from you guys is, is Donald Trump pulling down the credibility of Alex Jones or is Alex Jones pulling up the credibility of Donald Trump? I don't see how it could be anything but one of the two. Or you could say they're both so discredited already that they just belong together. Um, might be the third scenario. Or they're both such great men. I don't know. But I think that Alex Jones is in a way too cool for Donald Trump and might have been tricked because Donald Trump to me, this is the, the deepest of the conspiracy of what I think. To me, Donald Trump can be the free market guy that they blame the crash of the economy on and that because he's not a political insider, he doesn't have the political experience, he does have some loose and fast policies. He does have some, you know, round up the Muslims or block the borders or whatever kind of policies and clamp down free speech because, you know, it's Trump and he's not trained at politics and then they can make it seem like hey, that's why we don't let non-political people get in that's actually a reach to me i i actually see him stepping down like ross perot did in 92 uh i believe it was 92 when ross perot uh ran and stepped down due to what he said was a threat against his daughter's wedding uh, of violence so that's the general thesis is that I don't believe the, the, the uh, and I've been saying this for a few years, people that are friends of me on Facebook and people that are friends of me in real life know, I think that there is no real election in America. It's pageantry. Um, it's a charade at best. Um, it's a bad charade. And it would be more honest if they just had a monarch or a dictatorship because then we would know who we're supposed to be mad at and we have a picket. We could pick it. We could make a picket sign that says, screw this person. And we don't have to remake the sign every three or four years. And we don't have to, and here's what sucks about America too. And I'm not an America hater. This is the same for any democratic country. And I don't even hate the idea of democracy. We just don't have democracy. We have indirect democracy, which is a republic, which is basically a way to have rulership carte blanche with the appearances of control by the people. Free market is the best answer. Everyone knows me and knows I'm a voluntarist. I believe it's from no coercion. So if you want to transact with someone, you can. It shouldn't have to be a, a mediator. Uh, mediation is social accountability and... Uh, you know, your namesake, your respect, your, um, your, your reputation. So to the, to, to land the plane here, guys, um, what do we think about Donald Trump? Is he part of the system? I, I want to hear good or bad. Is he part of the system? Is he sanctioned by the Bushes and the Clintons of the world and the Putins of the world? Well, not to say that the Bushes and the Clintons and the Obamas are necessarily all together. It's a topic for another video as well, but where does Trump really stand with the status quo? Is he against, is he a problem for them? Or is he still maybe appearing to be, but he's on their side? And how does this tie into what seems like a push for the new world order? That's the last point, too. If you guys can keep all that in your head and write some comments. Do you think that Trump is a guy that would stand in the way of a global governance thing? Like it seems like he might be by associating himself with the Alex Joneses of the world. Or would Alex Jones be selling himself down the river when, if Trump did come into power, um, it would look bad upon Alex for supporting him? Something tells me either Al uh, Trump won't get into power or Alex Jones won't be made to look bad because he's got a pretty good track record despite his wildness. Um, what, do we got, what do we all think, guys? Your comments below, and thanks for watching, and thanks for your uh, subscriptions. Peace out. Thanks. Uh, peace.